Just a second. So, uh, hi, I'm Tarek from Air Vinci. I'm a gearhead. Um, I've been building machines for a very long time. This is the car that I built. This is the factory that I built in red. And that's what my workshop looks like right now. CNC machine, welders, lathes, mills. I love flying, but flying is very expensive, whether it is to buy or to rent. So I thought with my experience, well, why not build something? So this is what we've come up with. It's a personal helicopter that you can convert into a drone. It's easy to fly, it's cheap to fly, it's mechanically simple, and more importantly, it, it doesn't need a runway. So there's nothing like this out on the market right now. It's only six feet wide. There's no helicopter like this on the market. And it's ducted fan. That means that the blades are protected. It has a payload of 260 pounds. It can go up to 12,500 feet. And it's only 56 horsepower, which means it's very economical on fuel. And it's computer controlled, so you can set waypoints and control it from your phone or from a computer. Our initial market is skydivers. So a skydiver will jump in, it'll go up to 12,500 feet, right? and then he'll jump off. <laughs> and then the helicopter will autonomously land and, and the drop zone, where the skydiver is. So skydivers love this. Um, we already have some potential test pilots. We're in conversation with the Chinese Special Forces, and we're getting letters of intent, which is, a lot of people are just behind this project. This is our team. So these top three are aerospace engineers, PhD, masters, masters, mechanical engineer with a masters, computer, with marketing, and he builds helicopters at Pearson Airport. This is the exciting part. This is the part that I love making the thing. So molds, we, I was working on these yesterday. And the CNC machine, and this is a program that we wrote to calculate the aerodynamics of the plates. This is the gearbox, the second most important thing. So iteration one, I'm not sure it's like iteration seven. This is like iteration nine. This is um, the engines that we bought that we're gonna put in the out on. In terms of licensing, so we're applying for, we already started the application process for the Special Flight Operations Certificate here in Canada. That will allow us to fly here in Canada. And now we can fly in New Zealand, and other countries are becoming more and more drone friendly. This is our development roadmap. So we had a test flight in June 15th. It's just basically a proof of concept. We're going to start selling the drones only in November. And then in June 2016, we're going to sell the helicopter. And if any of you guys are interested, this is a scale model of the plates that are actually going to go in the helicopter. All right. Thank you very much. And I'm Terry from Air Vinci.